All right, headed out to do some early morning thrifting. I do have on a hat and a coat because it's cold. <laughs> What is up? Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jessica from Etta Jane's Vintage. And here on this channel, we like to focus on thrifting, vintage, sustainable fashion, and a little bit of random content in between. So if that is something that you're interested in, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. On today's video, I'm actually going to take you all thrifting with me. It's an early Saturday morning. I would say it's about 8 30 thrift store opens at nine so i like to get there early especially if i want to get some footage so that i'm not like running into people and getting people on the camera but yeah i'm going to take you all with me so we can see if they have anything good today i'm thinking about maybe hitting up uh, two or three thrift stores depending on how i'm feeling or you know if i start getting hungry um so yeah i'll take you all in when i get there and let's see what they have peace Okay, so I just pulled up and um, they opened in about uh, like 10 minutes. So I'm just sitting in the car until it's time for the shop to open. So today I'm kind of looking for some things in particular, but also if I see some other stuff that I like, I'm definitely going to grab it. But I'm looking for like some grandpa type sweaters. I don't know if you all follow the brand Washington Avenue, but they do a lot of like reworked thrifted items um and they recently did a collection of like kooji inspired rework stuff so that really got me thinking about looking for some sweaters here today um i'm of course looking for denim because i'm always looking for that blazer suits um and maybe some knit tops because Zara is also doing all these like super cute knits. So I just want to see if I can maybe find some stuff that's comparable before I go and actually buy the knits that I saw at Zara. So yeah, hopefully we find some good stuff and I will take you in shortly so we can see what they have. So the first thing I came across was this cute linen suit in this kind of pink rust color. So I definitely had to put that in the cart. This pink two-piece set was so cute. It's like polka dot. It has the black button detail with a midi skirt. So there's a lot that you could do with this and styling and also doing it as an upcycle too. Now this is definitely one of my favorite thrift stores to come to for their suits and blazer section. As you can see, even the price on that was $1.59, which is crazy, but they always had the best deals and the most extravagant things. Even this church lady suit, which I didn't get, but I thought I'd just show you all anyway. But yes, they definitely have a great blazer and suit section. So I always love to come here if I'm looking for some good sets. After I hit up the blazers and suit section, I decided to hit up the pants and trousers since I was looking for some colorful trousers and also looking for some jeans. 
This was just a pair of Calvin Klein jeans that I wanted to show you. I didn't pick them up, but they were cute and I did kind of like that gray, slate gray color, but I didn't actually pick them up. So I wasn't really seeing that much in this section. So I decided to move up to the front of the pants and trousers section where they had the lighter colors. I did come across a cute pair of cream trousers that you'll see here in a second, but I ended up not picking them up just because I already have so many cream colored trousers in my closet. These who what wear trousers were really cute, but I also ended up not picking them up because I have a ton of pants in this same silhouette with the paper bag waist and the tie. They were only $3.49. I'm kind of regretting not getting them, but they were really cute. Now I'm just taking a look at some of the black trousers in this section. They do also have jeans mixed in. I found this cute pair of black trousers and I like the pleating at the top of the waist. They ended up being a little bit big for me, but I did still pick them up. So I might add them to my site. And then I also found this cute pair of Levi's jeans in black. I also do have a ton of black jeans, so I ended up not getting these either. I actually saw a few girls in the thrift store that had a cute style, so I gave them to one of them and they actually purchased the jeans. So somebody got them, it just wasn't me, but they were super cute. Now this thrift store also has a good coat collection. They usually keep them at the front of the store, but usually the prices are a little bit expensive. So I don't typically buy coats from this thrift store unless they've been marked down. A lot of times they also come from the movie studio. So you may see them have like a Fox tag on it. So you know that they use it in some type of production, but just wanted you all to see what they had. Okay, I wanted to show you all this Cole Haan jacket. It's real leather, lambskin. It's too small for me, but it's super cute. Okay, so I haven't really found any sweaters, but I found like a ton of dresses and I never look in the dress section. So I'm going to show you all everything that I have in my cart. Let me show you my cart because this thing is crazy. So this is my cart. It's like literally overflowing. So of course I'm going to have to go through this and sort and figure out exactly what I'm going to get. And then I will show you all what I plan on picking up after I look through everything. Okay, so let me just show you all really quickly some of the stuff that I picked up. It might be easier to show you in the mirror or I don't know. I'll show you here. So the first thing is these like silk pants. So originally I thought showing you everything in the mirror would be a good idea, but then people kept walking past me. So I decided to just hold up each item and show you the things that I had in my cart. 
The next thing I'm gonna show you is this cute two-piece pajama set in this lavender color with the white pinstripes. I actually did a styling video on this on my Instagram, so make sure you check that out. But this was really cute and I did pick this up. Next up is this cute plaid skirt. It was like a midi skirt and it had this bow tee deal on the back. I didn't actually pick it up, but it was really cute. And it was only $1.99. Next is this satin style pink midi dress from Zara. I didn't pick it up because I realized that I actually already have this dress, but it was super cheap and it looked like it was really good quality, like it had almost never been worn. So I just wanted to show you all this as well. Next was this cute cream dress. I really like the ruffle down at the bottom and I could see myself doing a lot with this, especially belting it. So I definitely had to pick that up. I also found this really cute 80s like dynasty style dress. It had the jewels or sequins in the middle, but it did have a little bit of staining on the front. And also the price was $13. So I didn't pick that up, but it was really cute. So I wanted to show you all that. Now today was definitely the day for the 80s dresses because I also found this one which I did get and this one was way less than the other one and it also had that cute sequin detail on the side. I also found this black 80s dress with the drop waist and the ruffles at the bottom. It has this diamond cutout in the back and even has these rhinestones closures um, and that one was only $3.99 so I had to grab that one. Now this next dress was really cute. It is 100% silk and it actually was brand new. Well, you know, brand new thrifted, but it still had the tags on there. And you can see I'm showing you the tag, which it is 100% silk. This one will actually be for sale on my site as well. Now this next item I didn't pick up and I'm actually regretting not grabbing it, but it was this really cute 80s slash 90s jumpsuit with the sheer sleeves and the gold vest detail i didn't grab it but i'm wishing that i did and that's how it is when you do these videos you watch it back and you're like dang i should have picked that up so this is definitely one of those moments the next thing was this black trench coat um, it is in a wool fabric and it was made in somewhere overseas but i actually didn't grab that either because i have so many coats but that one was super cheap Here I'm just showing you again up close that pair of Levi's jeans that I didn't pick up that I gave the other girls that I saw there at the thrift store but just wanted to give you a close up view of what they look like. So that was actually the last thing in my cart. I went ahead and sorted through everything to see what I was going to pick up. So stay tuned for my next video where you see the haul and you can see all the things that I picked up. Until next time, bye.